Welcome to the TrackMaster Fast Handicapping Tutorial. In this video blog series, we're going to quickly handicap the harness races using the TrackMaster Fast Sheets, where it's like having the answer key before you take the test. Fast Sheets analyze racing styles and pace figures to uncover how a race might unfold while giving you contenders to play and at what odds. Each week, we'll analyze a race using a different part of these powerful reports until you've learned all about how to use them. Let's get started. For today's fast handicapping example, we're going to take a look at a report from the Meadows for Monday, February 23rd. If you recall from last time, we took a look at the contenders section of the report. This is where we quickly point out which horses to play and at what odds. Today we're going to move into what's called the guts of the fast report, and those are the running styles. It's this section right here. The running styles also go hand in hand with the race types. But before we can actually analyze a race using these running styles and race types, we need to know a little bit more about them. The Fast Sheets uses four main running styles, and they correspond with the four letters of the word fast, F, A, S, and T. The front runners are usually on the early lead in a race. Alternators have no particular running style, changing between various others. Stalkers normally sit just off the front runners in the early stages of the race, while a trailer is usually near the back of the pack in the early going. Occasionally you'll have unknown styles because the horse is foreign or a first time starter. And finally you'll have non-contenders. These are very inconsistent horses and they should be non-factors in the race. What the Fast Sheets does is analyze the running styles of all the horses in a race to come up with a race type. Let's quickly go through some of the different race types that you can have. First we have lone front runner. This is when only one horse in the race is a front runner. Similarly we have lone stalker and lone trailer. You can also have a fast paced race where at least four horses in the field are front runners. You can even have a paceless race where there are absolutely no front runners in the field. The most common type is a basic race where the pace scenario is very balanced. The final three are special cases of race types. These are the dominant ones. Dominant front runners, dominant stalkers, and dominant trailers. These are the same thing as lone front runners, stalkers, and trailers, except that the horse is exceptionally dominant in its statistics. To give you an example of how the running styles and race types work together, we're going to take a look at race seven on this Meadows card. The seventh race was a mile pace and the race type was dominant front runner. When you're handicapping a race card, you really want to try to gear in on these races where you have a dominant horse. Here's how we got to this race type looking at the running styles from the different horses. As you can see we had a lone front runner, that's this number four horse, Ashtoreth Hanover. Followed by five different stalkers and three trailers. You'll always notice that the running styles are ordered from front runner, stalker, and trailer, with alternators being mixed in between. Now, because this horse was a lone front runner, the race type could have been lone, but this horse had the best early and late pace figures in the race, making him a candidate for a dominant performance. What the Fast Sheets is trying to do is identify different pace scenarios that could give an advantage to any one or combination of horses in a race. In this particular race, the dominant front running horse should be able to make an early lead and have plenty of energy left to score as they come for the wire. So we would expect this horse to go right to the front and basically lead the whole way. It doesn't always happen this way, but this is the way the pace sets up for this race. At this morning line of 5 to 1, it also looks like a great play for us. Let's take a look at the race chart and see what actually happened. Here we have the results from that seventh race at the Meadows. Aha, look there, number four, Ashtoreth Hanover, our pick, scored and was bet all the way down to the favorite. As you can see here, he made the first call, second call, third call, stretch, and finish all on the lead. This horse went wire to wire. The payoff was a bit small. We only got 440 back. But this horse is key because we could have keyed him in various exotics, 
either within this race in exactas or trifectas, or with pick threes, daily doubles, etc. All in all, you want to look for these dominant front-running race types. There's a few others that we'll explore in the coming weeks, but for now, let's just focus on this one. Best of luck, and we'll see you next time.